This has a bit of recoil, so... So let's this. All right, so hello gamers and welcome back to my ranking series. Today we're going to be ranking the LMGs, which I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know how the LMGs have remained this broken for this long. Make sure to comment your favorite LMG down below. But yeah, let's start it off with the Colt LMG, which honestly might be the best one in the game at this point. Like basically they added 20 tack to it, which if you guys didn't know, 2545 is an attachment on a lot of M16 variants. Basically what it gives you is a smaller magazine and less reserve ammo. However, it gives you a faster reload, walk speed, aiming speed, and a Penetration depth, headshot multiplier, damage ranges, velocity, basically just makes your gun better in every way. 20 tact is kind of like that, but it doesn't give you better ranges, but still, it gives you everything else and it gives you more pen. So basically what I'm trying to say here is this, I don't know if it should be in the game, not gonna lie, like it is extremely busted. It can two hit kill head to like 80 studs, three hit kill body to like 80 studs, it loads extremely fast and you're like, well it has 30 bullets, but like it reloads faster than like Augs. Augs have 30 bullets, I don't know, I don't see why it needs to reload that fast. I'm gonna be real, this is like best LMG possibly in the entire game at this point, except for one, which I would say in my opinion is better, but like, you could say that this one is better than the one later on this list. So I'm gonna give this one easily a 5 out of 5. The default gun is really good too. 60 round magazine, 180 reserve. The only problem is it's slightly worse in every way to this conversion, but like still really really good this conversion is so busted right now probably one of the best guns from the newest update to the game the rank zero gun just pre-buy the ammo type next up we have the m60 though the m60 is nowhere near as good as it used to be it has slower rpm it has worse damage worse recoil i'm gonna be real it's not amazing however it has 100 rounds and it's still pretty accurate so that is a pretty nice feature about it and it still does pretty good close range damage it's a four hit kill maybe sometimes a five hit kill at range which is not amazing you know can't go wrong with 100 rounds and pretty low recoil. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5. It shoots pretty slow, but yeah, it's still really accurate. It's not the best gun in the game. It's not the worst gun in the game by any means. An extremely solid 4 out of 5. I don't think I could give this less than a 4 out of 5. Like, it's got so many good stats. Great pen. Really good damage up close, which holds up really well. 3 kill head, 3 kill bodies, like 100 studs. Full tell MG, I'm gonna be real, it's better, but this still has 100 bullets. So you can do that with it. If you can get a reload off every once in a while, this gun is basically just limitless bullets. So next up, we have the AUG H-Bar. Now, the AUG H-Bar has gotten probably as many, if not more, nerfs than the M60. It got more recoil, and then it got worse damage. Honestly, that's kind of about it, to be honest. It's, uh still super accurate it doesn't do great damage a 4 to 5 hit which is fine i guess but like a 4 hit kill with 650 rpm usually you can expect from that rpm at least a decent possibility for a 3 hit and kind of does but to be real you gotta run 223 and then it has like like that recoil so if you want to know recoil gun this is probably your gun i like the scar hammer a little bit more because scar hammer does have the opportunity to three hit kill to the body but i'm gonna be real this is a five out of five gun it has a lower recoil than the scar hammer give or take the three hit kill up close has about the same damage used to have a torso multi used to have better ranges still extremely good next up we have the mg36 now the mg36 does run 223 as well pretty well with 100 more rpm so you can actually four hit kill and be completely happy with that however it also has three 300. 300 used to be a direct upgrade, giving it a 3 hit kill up close and still a 5 hit kill at range. Now it gives you a 60 round drum, which is fine, but kind of give or take a worse version of the Colt LMG. And you can also run 223 for pretty low recoil and 100 bullets, which is pretty nice. And the reload time is pretty fast for 100 rounds. It's just over half the time of the M60. And as you can see, it kind of beams. Not amazing recoil, but like. It's enough to completely beam people to do through it range in 100 rounds, so can't really go too wrong with this. 300 conversion was what made it like a 5 out of 5 for me. Triple suppression, still had 100 rounds, 3 hit kill up close. This is still good. It's still a 4 out of 5 gun. It's still like up there with LMGs. You could say it's like the worst one in the game, but I don't really agree with that. I'd say the M60 might be even worse. It's kind of tied with the M60. M60 does far more damage, so I will be giving this one a 4 out of 5. Really what made it great was that 3 hit kill with 100 rounds, but you can still run 2-3 and get the low recoil. 5 hit kill ranges, 750 RPM. All gauge bar is overall going to do you better because just no recoil at all. This has a bit of recoil, so. So does this. There we go. Next up though, we have the RPK-12, which it has low recoil, not the best damage, a little bit more RPM than the AUG H-Bar, but higher recoil, and it does have a 1000 RPM hyperburst, which does have quite a bit of recoil, but fires extremely fast. I'll be completely honest, I was never a huge fan of this gun, but I respected what it did. Now that it reloads pretty slow again, um, the hyperburst has 
weird recoil and still has a little bit of a delay. You have to kind of time it right to get the hyper burst. This is going to be a four out of five for me. Um, you could give it a five out of five. The recoil is just kind of strange. Default RPM and damage are just kind of eh, like like MG36 almost does it better with kind of comparable recoil. Yes, a little bit more, but a hundred rounds and more RPM and auto and this gun is nowhere near as strong as it used to be. So four out of five is still really good. I don't know if I'm going to give any LMG a three out of five, except maybe one. Next up though, we have the L86. So a while ago, they started adding extended magazines with 223 Remington. Then they realized how broken it was to just get a bigger magazine and lower recoil. So they removed it on every single gun, except for some reason, this one. This one goes from a 30 round magazine to a 50 round drum and gets a lower recoil. That's why the L86 is arguably the best LMG. They did give it a nerf in the last update, but for some reason they didn't just remove the extended mag, which was arguably one of the biggest problems of it. It used to just be kind of an objectively worse version of the Scar Hammer, but then they nerfed the Scar Hammer, but didn't really nerf this, and this became the best LMG. But now it doesn't have a torso multi, so it can't 3 hit kill up close to the body, but it still has no recoil and a 50 round drum. So I am going to be giving this one a 5 out of 5. Not nearly as good as it used to be, but it's still possible tier still competes for number one i always like the scar hammer a little bit more and honestly the scar hammer and this are kind of tied now because the scar hammer does have the three hit kill yes not as far and yes it doesn't have a four kill ranges but this doesn't either and this does fire a little bit slower but has like no recoil next up we have the rpk they get a nerf in the past update that does a little bit less headshot damage however it didn't get worse recoil like the ak-47 did so this is actually just a big mag ak-47 with less recoil and more min damage which is kind of cracked it can three hit kill if one shot is a headshot which is pretty nice not gonna lie 600 rpm great damage up close not an amazing two hit kill capability but a very easy three hit kill at close to medium range i think it's like a 150 stud three hit kill range or something very very far it only has a 40 round magazine it used to have a 45 it's like a shadow nerf too like they never even told anybody about it and i was like what has 40 rounds now but yeah it's still uh, gonna be a 5 out of 5 for me, I'm not gonna lie. I like it way more than the RPK-12, and at this point, the RPK-12, yeah, it shoots a little bit faster, but it just does way worse damage. It does like 32 to 22 or something, so this does literally the same min as the RPK-12's max. So at like 500 studs, it does the same damage. And at close range to medium range, it does literally 10 more. So use this gun, it is really, really good. Next up though, we have the HK-21, which the HK-21, what is that guy doing? My man was desyncing so hard. This gun has recoil, it has 800 RPM though, and 3 kills and 2 kills head to a very far range. It got a huge nerf in the past update where it got worse min damage, worse max damage, worse recoil, and worse ranges, and worse velocity, and worse pens. Basically, it just got an overall huge nerf in every category. However, this is still the HK-21, so honestly, I'm still gonna give it a 5 out of 5, because yes, it doesn't do as good damage, yes, it has worse ranges, uh, and yes, I think it can be a 5 hit kill at this point at range, which is pretty nice, but I'm gonna be real, still a 5 out of 5, like, you can't really keep what makes this good without making it broken, because it shoots battle rifle bullets and has 800 RPM, but has 100 bullets, it's pretty difficult to make it balanced by any means. Next up, though, we have the Scar Hammer, which unlike the other LMG nerfs, this kind of kept the same things that made it good, the 3 hit kill torso, it does it doesn't 4 hit kill all ranges, but it still has about the same recoil it used to. Overall, it's worse, but it's still really good. It still might be my favorite of those few guns, the L86 and that. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. 50 round drum, pretty fast reload for that. 200 reserve ammo, 3 kill torso, which not even the L86 can do that. And a little bit more RPM than the L86. Still extremely low recoil. This is still top tier, still a 5 out of 5. 9 mil got a little bit of a nerf, but 9 mil is still really good. Basically, what they did was they nerfed long barrel, and they also made it not increase your reload speed because Yes, 9 mil conversion, which gave you 100 more RPM and a 100 round drum increased your reload speed. Yes, you reloaded faster, but you had 100 bullets. Why would it double your magazine capacity and make you reload faster? Regardless, it doesn't change it now, so it doesn't reload extremely fast anymore, which is cool. Still a 5 out of 5 with both 9 mil and default. But then next up, we have the RPK-74. Now, the RPK-74, in my opinion, this is the best LMG in the entire game. Same RPM as the Scar Hammer. Honestly, it can have lower recoil, but it can 2 kill head and 3 hit kill limb to farther ranges than Scar Hammer can even 3 kill torso while doing more minimum damage and having overall about the same stats. I think a faster reload time, but more min damage, but it doesn't have a torso multi, but it doesn't really matter because it can 4 kill with one headshot at any range. And honestly, hitting one headshot is... Not that hard, it doesn't really have uh, too much recoil. So yeah, this is easily gonna be a five out of five. Honestly, it's the best LMG in the game. There are reasons to use the other LMGs over it. Scar Hammer has 
you know, 9mm and a bigger magazine and stuff. And by default, probably a little bit less recoil. L86, you know, it has no recoil and faster velocity. The MG36 does have a bigger magazine, but I'm going to be real, like, just use this over that. And the Colt LMG fires faster and has about the same hits to kill, but worse hits to kill ranges and a faster reload, but a smaller magazine. So that's why the Colt LMG is actually kind of tied with this, but I'm going to be real, this is better. I just like to say Colt LMG is tied because, you know, I want to be nice. The Colt LMG with 20 tacks is broken, but this is even more broken. So yeah, this is going to get an easy best LMG in the game. If you have it, use it. If you don't, maybe pre-buy it. Honestly, I haven't heard anything about nerfing it just yet. I'm assuming it's going to eventually get a nerf, but who knows. At this point and for a while, it will probably be the best LMG in the game. It might honestly nerf Romanian grip, but honestly, in my opinion, even before Romanian grip was good, I was using stubby on this and I was like, this is really, really good. You should probably use this anyway. But last we have the MG3. Now, the MG3 is strange. I almost want to give it a three out of five because it's definitely going to be the worst LMG in the game because it has a 6.8 and a 7.1 second reload time, which is really bad because it has 50 bullets, which is almost the smallest in class. However, has the highest fire rate, which means that doesn't really mesh well together too well. Don't use heavy bolt because it sucks with heavy bolt. There's no reason to use it with that because the thing about it is that 1000 RPM and pretty decent recoil. I think I should give this one a four out of five. It does have a thousand RPM, a three a kill and two a kill had pretty far, pretty low recoil for that. Kind of eviscerates people like no other gun can really do. Yes, it is really good at one thing, but if you're good, this is probably the worst LMG for like actually getting a lot of kills because magazine goes out really, really fast and it reloads super slow. So you're going to have to like reload half the time you're playing, which means you're just not going to get as many kills. I'll give it a three out of five because of that. Definitely not a two. It has some redeeming stuff, which does make it a three. However, it is the worst LMG the game in my opinion yes it does eviscerate people and if you're good with it which it's not even that hard to be good with it you can make the recoil non-existent which is pretty cool anyways gamers if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and sub and i will see you guys in the next one peace